Why is it that we are unable to come together and speak our truth and demand that what needs to be done must be done? It's because they defeated us where it matters the most, which is their mind. It started with the missionaries in Africa long before slavery. They were sent by the Roman Catholic Church to subdue the Africans, make them believe that when you get slapped, turn the other cheek, and that your riches are in heaven. So by the time they followed with the colonizers to reap and rape Africa, we were already brainwashed. We were meant to believe everything African was bad and undesirable and everything European was better. And the same brainwashing continued as our children were taken out of Africa enslaved. It continued on the plantations, color gradations, light-skinned versus dark-skinned, field workers versus kitchen workers. To this day, we suffer from the legacy of slavery and the legacy of colonization. For how long are we going to continue to suffer from this affliction? For it is singularly the reason why we are not able to come together just like other races and nationalities have done in this melting pot that is the United States of America. When you ask for the voices of the Irish Americans loud and clear, Jewish Americans loud and clear, German Americans, Italian Americans, Chinese Americans, Indian Americans, their voices are loud and clear. But when you ask for the voices of us black people, you might as well go to the graveyard because we are missing in action. We were taught we were brainwashed into not even loving ourselves as individuals, let alone each other. We were taught not to trust one another. We were taught not to believe that my brother can, my sister can, but somebody else who doesn't look like you and I is better. The question I have for all of you, just close your eyes and think about your children your grandchildren. Is this the world you want to leave behind for them? If the answer is no, then you need to have a serious conversation with the image in the mirror. Because it is the image in the mirror that must change. It is the image in the mirror that must understand that you are sick from this affliction of the legacy of slavery you are not sick at home. You are not sick in the doctor's waiting room. You are not sick in the hospital ward. You are sick in the intensive care. How long are we going to continue to support other people's agendas? Those who stood up to fight during the civil rights movement during the Pan-African days in Africa, civil rights in the United States, they were all silenced. We are emerging out of a period of 20 to 30 years where just nothing is going on. We are all fast asleep. When are we going to wake up? 